Sarah Ferguson has revealed that the late Queen Elizabeth was more of a mother to her than her own on the latest episode of her podcast. Fergie's mother Susan Barontes eloped to South America when the Duchess of York was just 12 years old. Her mother hardly contacted her, leaving Fergie feeling abandoned. But after tying the knot with Prince Andrew, 63, in 1986, Fergie found a maternal figure in the Queen. The 63-year-old grandmother, who lives with the Duke and Windsor's Royal Lodge, said her former mother-in-law would have absolutely been a great support in light of her breast cancer diagnosis. The Duchess is currently recuperating at home following a successful eight-hour-long mastectomy and reconstructive surgery. Prince Andrew feels lonely without his mum and dad and thinks of them a lot The Duchess said she learned a great deal from the Queen's spirit with the former monarch, who she described as inspiring, helping bring out the best in her. Speaking on the latest episode of her podcast He Talks, released on Thursday, Fergie said, A lot of the Queen's spirit she taught me. I had it in my DNA but she brought it out of me. Fergie revealed that she and Andrew had walked in the woodland in Windsor with their seven dogs, two of which they adopted from the Queen, and had shared a moment to throw one up to the late monarch. Her co-host and friend, Sarah Thompson, noted that the Queen would have been a big support throughout her cancer battle to which Fergie replied, Absolutely, because she was more my mother than my own mother. The Duchess, who underwent her breast cancer surgery last month, said she has been inspired by the Queen's resilience which continued up until her death at the age of 96. Just two days before her passing, the Queen met with the then outgoing Prime Minister Boris Johnson and met the incoming Liz Truss at Balmoral Castle. Fergie added, she went through all her trials and the show went on didn't it? Even, the days before she died, shaking hands with the Prime Minister. So inspiring. So this podcast, we get on with it and I think, to, anyone listening, it's okay, cry if you need to cry, be sad if you need to be sad, be joyous if you need to be joyous, everything is okay. Don't miss. Andrew's peculiar bedroom demand that took maids a day of training to perfect, report, Sarah Ferguson takes late Queen's Corgis down memory lane in sweet tribute, latest, Andrew and Fergie unlikely to be kicked out of Royal Lodge as not a good look, insight, Fergie's mother left for Argentina to marry polo player Hector Baron Swith when she was 12 years old. Upon his death in 1990, Susan became a film producer in Buenos Aires. After her mother's abandonment, the Duchess resorted to binge eating and blamed herself for what had happened. She told The Observer in 2002, she was my spirit, my whole soul and she went. I believed it was my fault, of course I did. She hardly contacted me at all and that's when food became my only friend. Although she endured strife, Fergie said it made her a better mother to the two daughters she shares with Andrew, Princess Beatrice, and Princess Eugenie. And later, she found a motherly figure in the Queen. Speaking to the Daily Mail earlier this year said, one reason I'm a good mother is because my mother wasn't present at all, she left me when I was 12, so I know what it's like to be brought up without a mother. The Duchess and the Queen remained close after her split from Andrew with the late monarch reportedly impressed by Fergie's dedication to the Duke even after their divorce. Upon Her Majesty's death, Fergie took to social media to pay tribute to her Queen and friend. Part of her statement read, to me, she was the most incredible mother-in-law and friend. I will always be grateful to her for the generosity she showed me in remaining close to me even after my divorce. I will miss her more than words can express. 
Fergie's mother died at the age of 61 in a horrific car accident in Argentina in 1998, a year after Princess Diana. Susan had been driving home from a nearby town having had lunch with friends. All episodes of the Tea Talks with the Duchess and Sarah are available here. i